As you know, we're big on safety here, so I'd like you to go ahead and note the three emergency exits we have in this gym, one here to the front, and we got two to the back. That's just in case my speech becomes too long-winded or my jokes are too corny. The seventh class, we'd like to thank those who are responsible for helping us to get to where we are today. So to the command staff, human resources, and the academy staff, we thank you for all the hard work that you put in to help 65 recruits achieve success. We'd also like to thank all of you for your continued love and support while we continue our training. After all, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be who or where we are today. And I'm pretty confident that there were more than just a few of us that thought this day would never come. After completing a year-long grueling hiring process, we were thrown into a whirlwind of chaos this past February. And we came in from different places with different backgrounds, and when we walked through those doors that first February morning and sat in the very same seats that you guys are sitting in, the only thing we knew about each other is that we didn't cut. The city of Indianapolis and I and PD staff decided that we were the best of the best. We made a year off our own merit without any help from the recruits sitting next to us. It was quickly realized that it was going to take more than just ourselves to make it through this academy. We were going to have to work together. The importance of teamwork wasn't realized until after lunch. <laughs> after we were sworn in and many kind words were exchanged about what caliber of people we were to make it through such a lengthy and challenging process. And then it began. I'm sure none of us will forget our first slip up. Instructors came into this gym and began barking orders at us to get into the far corner right over there. And somehow, Mysteriously, one of the wrestling mats you see there in the back was partially unrolled in that same spot. Coincidence? Anyways, a few of us stepped on it, and you would have thought that we had just wrecked the Chief's patrol car. <laughs> the burst of yelling, and then we were soon introduced to the infamous front ready rest. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, it's the push up position. We became very familiar with that position of discipline as well as burpees. Uh, you see what happens to us? The strange six with you. And the dead cockroach and other ones that pay me to even mention. It was requested that I don't mention any embarrassing stories, so uh, I'm not going to talk about Officer Callahan's pepper spray experience, or why he was cursing at the wind and pacing back and forth as if he were on fire. You should have seen it. I'm sure it's on a video somewhere. And I, I just, needless to say, I can't mention how Officer Chapman learned that our patrol cars can really fly. <laughs> just not above the tree line. <laughs> and while we're on it, how about Officer Cervantes and his capability of giving a dissertation while trying to ask only one question? <laughs> to which most instructors replied with, what was the question? <laughs> I'm not even going to mention the name of the officer who would sing in the shower more often than not singing show tunes or the, or the Beatles. Uh, and the training staff did find one way to take a smile off Officer Christian's face, and that was by tasing him. <laughs> Voluntarily, of course. Yes, we've come a long way. We shed blood, sweat, and tears in this building. This is the place that is responsible for creating a bond between us that won't ever be broken. We are a family, and we are part of something that is now greater than any one of us. We are part of the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. We have taken an oath to serve and protect the citizens of Indianapolis. That oath puts a tremendous amount of responsibility on us, where failure is not an option. There is a message that the seventh class wishes to convey to the command staff and the citizens of Indianapolis. We are committed to serving with the utmost integrity, motivation, professionalism, and dedication throughout our entire career. Again, we thank you for this opportunity to serve. Thank you.